Hello everyone, I will show you now how you can use data visualization and text network analysis to identify the most relevant keywords that no other tool and no other application can find. The way it works is very simple. It visualizes the top 40 Google search results for a certain query, so in this case it's keyword analysis for SEO, and then it visualizes the search queries that people tend to use with this original search query. And then what it does is that it compares these two graphs together and identifies which keywords people tend to use in the search but they don't find the results for. So in this case, for example, we see that YouTube generator list, if we click on those terms, we see which context they appear in. We see that people are searching for a keyword generator for YouTube, but they don't actually find it. So this is one niche that we could target if we want to create content or to create advertising campaign. Another one is text generator. If we click on those terms, we see that keyword generator from text is something that people search for, but they don't really find the results uh, in the top Google search results. I will show you how it works using a real example, something else. So we click on the SEO app here and type in a search query. In this case, it's going to be search engine optimization. We will then have both the search results and the search queries for this particular topic visualized as a graph. If we click on the analytics pane, we will see the main topics that were identified in this discourse. So for example, here is a website visibility guide. If we click on this topic, we can see the context where it appears in. Now, if we want to see more precisely what the existing discourse is about, if we click here on top 40 Google search results, we will see the main topics that are linked to just the search results. So in this case, it's Google page ranking, website tutorial, visibility web offer, online market service. OK, if we click on popular search queries, we will see what people search for. So for example, courses, tutorials, tools. So this already gives us a very good idea of what the market really needs. Finally, the missing keywords feature which is the most interesting part of this tool, shows us what people search for but do not find. So, for example, free tools is something that people really need, free SEO tools, but they don't really easily find it in the search results. So that means if we create content or advertising, it can be interesting to target uh, this particular interest, free tools. Another interesting way to expand this research is to add more results. So for instance, let's say I want to know more about the tutorial and Google, right? So I click on these two terms and here I automatically have all of them added into the search field. So now if I want to see what the results are for this search query, I just click add to graph. It's going to be imported from Google and added into this very graph. So here I have additional search results for tutorial added into the graph. And I can also do the same for the search queries. I can also do it manually if I want. Okay, so now we have the search results for tutorials and also for the search engine optimization. Okay. Now let's say I want to add some of the stuff into the graph. So for instance, in this case, it's going to be some stuff that I found in the missing terms, maybe tool, search engine marketing tool. Okay, so I can select this and then add it into my saved words and you will see it will appear here. Another interesting part could be, for instance, adding something about training and certification. This is something that people search for but do not find. So I can add it into the graph and then it's going to be added into the keyword ideas. So it means I can save them here and later use them when I plan a marketing campaign or write new content. This is how it works. It has many more features. For example, here on the missing content panel, you can have uh, recommended content ideas. Uh, also, the kind of content you should create if you want to enrich the current discourse. So here are all these options. I invite you to try it out and see for yourself. Thank you.